Today, I finally got the chance to go fish with my cousin Adam. He was the first to introduce me to carp fishing. So as I got the itch to go carp fishing again, we booked a day and we went down to the lake. We decided to fish a cutoff bay that would hopefully warm up faster and attract the fish in since they were beginning to spawn. Once we arrived, we quickly unpacked to rig up quick and try and get our lines in as soon as we could. Carp are mainly bottom feeders and they have a high starch diet. So here Adam is balling up a mix of oats and corn that he prepared last night and that he'll cast out with his hook. This will attract the carp in, get them feeding around his bait and hopefully take the bait on his hook. A staple bait in the carp angling world is just regular sweet corn and that's what we use today and worked very well for us. Luckily, when we first got there, we saw a few carp already swim by right in front of our rock. So Adam casted not too far off and so did I and we pretty much caught all our fish a few meters in front of us that day. We saw carp jump all day long, but it's so difficult to get on film. Whoa! I don't know. Whoa! That one looked amazing! That like, was you sick! See I hope- Oh jeez. <laughs> That one looked amazing. Oh, did I get that? I think I was de I was definitely blocking that. Oh. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I just got it. Yes. Yeah, baby. With this watch, the 13 footer is too much. Oh, did you see that? I think I got that on tape. Oh, the jump. Yeah. Nature is still present in these urban areas. And as you can see, these birds had no problem coming really close to us. Sometimes a bit too close. I know, but I didn't. I was trying to put it the other way. I thought it was going to flick down. No, it will. Okay, so this is what you do. Just worry about. Oh, now it's on. No, look. When I, okay, well, don't worry about We that. just had a hit. Oh, it's screaming. Is it? Is it a... Take your time. No, because it's coming towards me. Yeah, oh. yeah, not so much line twist, more like reeling against the drag. See, major rookie mistake here. I was just scared to lose this fish like the last one. And I was happy I had my first carp on. So I basically just caused major line twist for Adam's reel. After a nice big fight, Adam was able to scoop the fish in and we were able to bring it up to the bank and unhook it and get some nice pictures. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Let me get a close up. It has all its scales. <laughs> it's a nice, that's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. The mouth of a bottom feeder. Yeah. Good job. Finally, I set the drag properly, and we got some nice pictures that are all on Instagram. So go follow me to see all my latest catches and what I'm up so to slimy. next. I can't get a grip. I'm gonna get right in. Get that twig out of the way. Sorry, my camera work is really uh, bad here. It's okay. It's enjoying this too much. Yeah. <laughs> Spot treatment. There he goes. There he goes. Nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the boots come in handy. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. So my setup that Adam switched to since yeah. it was the most productive also consists of baiting the surrounding area of the cast with some loose corn in order to attract the fish and keep them feeding in the area. Nice shot. Yeah, Adam. Yes, Adam. Sure? Yeah, hold yeah, it up, yeah, hold it up higher. It up. I know, well, I'm just saying because uh, this is his rod. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move your stuff out of the way. No, you can leave it there. It's okay. It's not in the way. Well, just so when we land it, I'll just put it to the side. 
Rafa, you got the speed spot. Yeah. Oh, thanks for letting me take this. This is a good one. I'm glad, I'm glad. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a good one. I think it'll be, I think it's gonna be bigger than mine. <laughs> it was peeling mine. Wait, turn your, tighten your drag, tighten your drag. Cause yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, I got it. Still might have another run in it, I hope. Yeah? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is over there now. Yeah. Oh, it's coming in. Slowly. It went on a nice run. You want the net? Um, yeah. yeah you go get the net. I'll get the net now. Because it's in, it's in, it's in. We yeah. need that net. Oh, there's like three following it. There's two followers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Were there? Yeah. Who wants to net this thing? I'll net it, I'll net it. net it? Okay, here, it's here. I need yeah. It. Oh yeah! And then pull it up, you know, like, you know, I yeah. got it. You got that? Yeah. Oh yeah! Nice. Let's bring it up. That's a nice one, actually. Oh, I wonder where it. those other ones... It had two followers with it. Do I have my phone? No, I don't have my phone. Thanks. My hands too. Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Yeah. Okay, let's get a picture. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah? Oh, is it bleeding? Yeah. Oh, you know it'd be sick if I had my underwater case on right now. <laughs> it's okay, this will do. Beautiful fish. Broke ah, the oh, there we go. Eagles. Right back where he came from. Yeah, buddy. Please go, please go. This last one of the day would be beautiful. Three fish, that's nice. Oh. So at this point, we were nearing the end of our trip, but we saw some rod and line bumps and we just felt like a fish was going to bite right before we had to leave. Like, you know that feeling? If you're a fisherman, if you fish, you know what I'm talking about. Yo, every anytime this happens, my heart starts to like beat so hard. When I was with Ryan in the Whirlpool, we had three double headers. Really? They were coming out so much. So this will bring us to our conclusion. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you didn't enjoy the video, I'm sorry. You can also leave a thumbs up. It was really fun to go out. Anytime fishing is fun, uh, especially with friends. And, you know, I had to let Adam get that second fish. It's a confidence thing. Now he'll be ready for the rest of the season. I gotta thank Adam for taking me out. Anyway, hope to see you guys in another video. Please leave a comment and that'll be it. So, oh, oh, apparently not. Nice. Yeah, baby, on the camera. Hey, well, mile, right? I ain't got no problem with another fish. Oh. Good job. All three on the white rod. You got the camera going? Yeah, camera's on. How do you see though if the Did other? It? Yeah, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, bring the rod, keep, keep the rod up. So let me also mention here, while Adam and I are having some trouble landing this feisty fish, that the reason that all these fish came on the rod on the right is probably because there's some sort of drop off or no weeds in that area where the fish are feeding. So it's always worth trying different things. If you have two rods out, take advantage, do different things, cast in different areas, and adjust throughout the day. Yeah. I'm gonna take a close up. <laughs> <laughs> one alone? Yeah, yeah get sure. one alone. All right, for real now, here's to the end of the video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in another video. And God bless. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it keeps hitting me in the elbow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hopefully That's the end of the session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>